I haven't made a video in a long time, but this is such a fun process. I, I bandsawed these legs, and you would think it'd take a lot, but using a low angle block plane, this is where the, the blade jumped out as far as I could go, and this is where I really want to end up. So at first it's a little rectangulous, but this is cherry. And if you skew the plane, you can start to see where you go. Now there's a expression by hand and by eye, and I figured to get, I drew these curves in, but to get it to where I want it, it's going to be a lot of just eyeballing it and feeling it. Your hands are good judges of what something should look like. I also like to check it with this little square to make sure that I'm going 90 degrees which I am. Um, I think I mentioned by skewing the blade and that is just about all there is to the preliminary step. When I get ready to do the whole thing, the entire table, then I'll lay all the legs together and take a, a very light cut. But here you can see, it really doesn't take that long. So this is a pretty pronounced hump right there. So you gotta get that first. I'm trying to not go past the pencil line so that when you see these legs together on this little table, the curvature will pretty much start and stop at the same place on each leg. What I love about hand planing is that you start to really bring out the beauty of the wood. I tried to select the bottoms of these legs so that the grain would be running downhill away from me, figuring that that's an easier way to go. And before I finish this, looks like I dipped a little low in here. I'll hone the blade, use this in conjunction with a large smooth plane, and completely refine these legs. But you can see, it really isn't as time consuming as I thought it would be. I can also see that after doing eight surfaces like this, the blade is ready for a little bit of a honing job. So that'll be the next step. Enjoy.